that's all the weather for today and for tomorrow. Paula? Thank you, Mark. Mark Goodson is the king of the game shows. He's worn that crown now for four decades, during which he's created more than 50 shows. Currently on the air are Family Feud, Classic Concentration, Match Game, The Price is Right, and the new revival of an old favorite, To Tell the Truth. Number one, what is your name, please? My name is Detective Richard Buggy. <laughs> Number two. My name is Richard Buggy. <laughs> Number three. My name is... <laughs> Other famous goods and game shows included What's My Line with a 17-year run on CBS. It was TV's second longest-running program. And there was Password, a hit TV show that was also a hit with the Play at Home crowd. And its creator, Mark Goodson, joins us this morning. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning, uh, Paula. Can you believe it when you look back on your career? No, it's in, you, you just showed a little... I didn't see it, but you showed a little piece of To Tell the Truth. Are you going to show any more of that? Yeah, because, absolutely. Well, because, you know, there, and there's an interesting revelation there, because the imposters that, that were playing those parts were related to Kitty Carlin and Joe Garagiola, and they didn't know it. So oh, let's they, take a look at that. Right? We do have a clip of that particular okay, incident yeah. you're talking yeah, about. It's really fascinating. Would you tell us what your name is and what you do, please? My name is Chris Hart, and my mother is the charming panelist, <laughs> Kitty Carlisle. <laughs> this is down the line. Number three, now that we've had our fun, what is your real name, please, and what do you do? My name is Joe Garagiola, Jr. <laughs> <laughs> They're not feigning surprise, are they? No, and by the way, that's, that's uh, actuality. No, there's no, there's no uh, construct, there's no drama, there's nothing written about that, which is what makes a game show exciting, the reality. And why, I like, why I like to tell the truth. Yeah, these old game shows don't, don't seem to, to die. What no. is it about the appetite our public seems to well, have for shows like um, that? Well, I can't tell you what the appetite is, but, but when a good one is on, they last really almost forever, and then, and then uh, uh, hopefully they can come back. Now, the big question we have is whether shows like What's My Line or To Tell the Truth, which were has less jumping around, less possessed, less big prizes, would hold up in the 1990s. We hope it will, to tell the truth, is an example of that. What is different about the shows that are being created now than, than the shows you created way back when? Um, I think mainly uh, the shows are not so different. It's, it, it, there, there's more emphasis on, on, uh, on uh, fancy sets and flashing lights and much bigger prizes. All of which I think are not uh, not really basically too effective. When you look back on your career, what's the, what's your favorite show that you created? Oh, I'm going to offend everybody who works in every other one of the shows, but I, I think to tell the truth. Um, As you're talking about, it, we're going to look at some old clips. Yeah, to tell the truth, and what's what's my line? Of course, was how I began, but so that has a, a feeling of familiarity. To tell the truth, really, is it, and and uh, we're. Uh, doing it now in California, and it's fun. We're going to listen in now on a very old show. Okay. Are you male? <laughs> I don't even know what's up if they got the masks on. Come on, Jerry. Well, they can't see it, Dusty. They got the masks on, and they're all covered up. <laughs> What's my line, 1954? Wow. Mm -hmm. Were you surprised by the, the spontaneity that you Spon saw in these shows? Uh, no. I, I, in the beginning, we, you know, you never can anticipate a hit. And we thought What's My Line was a nice little show that began on a Sunday night, or began on a Wednesday, and moved to a Sunday. It was on live. There was no, no tape. And it was, you know, 10.30 in New York and 7.30 in California. And uh, we didn't know what was going to happen. And then it became an instant overnight success and, and uh, went on for... 18 years, which is quite, quite something. Well, it's a real pleasure to meet you this morning. Thank you, Paul. Thanks for coming in. Congratulations. Thank you. 18 minutes before the hour right now.